Hello, my name is Kieran Ritchie and welcome to the Power IK Control Rig Introductory Tutorial. Um, so first of all, you may be wondering what is Control Rig? Uh, it's a brand new experimental plugin supplied by Epic uh, for doing interactive animation rigs directly in the editor. So this is what's uh, normally the types of rigs that are normally reserved for your offline uh, content creation tools like Blender or Maya. Uh, it's now possible to create those rigs right in Unreal. Uh, and, and furthermore, uh, Power IK now supports it as well. So you can use uh, Control Rig to create animation rigs that utilize the Power IK solver. So I'm going to show you how that looks and what it's good for. Um, so, first of all, you will find the Control Rig plugin under built in. Search for Control Rig. Uh, it's described as a framework for animation driven by user controls. Um, slightly misleading, it's actually, so while yes, you can create uh, user-driven animation rigs, well, what really excites me about Control Rig is the ability to then take that rig and package it up as a node and uh, embed that right in your anim graph. So it becomes an anim graph node that can apply procedural modifications to your pose at runtime uh, in your game. So it's it's more than just a sort of keyframe animation tool, but it's also uh, sort of a full suite of uh, dynamic procedural mod modifications that you can make to your rig. So let me show you, first of all, a sample of what that looks like running on the spider here. So I'm going to stop this, go into our spider, spider control rig. So you can download this sample project uh, directly from this, the link on the store page. And in here, you'll find the spider control rig. So if we pop that open, you have a familiar viewport in the uh, top left here. Down here, you have a rig hierarchy view. This is very important. Um, and over here is your rig graph. So I'll kind of go through at a high level uh, how this works. But first, let's take a look at the results. So you can go ahead and grab these controls. Um, I've got a control on each of his feet, and you can just move those around. And you can see we're, we're running the full Power IK solver here, uh, which is how the full body is, is reacting to these IK effectors. Um, I'm using a feature of Control Rig called uh, the Verlay node to get some, some dynamic kind of bobbing going on here. And we actually have a layered setup here that allows you to pose the character with just the feet and then additively move the thorax. So you still have control um, over the thorax. And this is something that is actually really hard to accomplish even in uh, uh, dedicated animation software like Maya or Blender, um, this kind of layered dynamic control. Um, but Unreal's uh, control rig system makes this totally possible. And with Power IK, you can make really sophisticated um, uh, IK setups that affect the entire body. So you can see here how uh, on a normal IK setup, moving feet effectors does not move the rest of the body, but here we have kind of a nice full body effect. Um, so let's take a look at how that works. Uh, control Rig in Unreal is built on the paradigm of a stack of executions that happen one after another. So unlike uh, what you might be familiar with in Maya and other programs, there isn't sort of a, an implicit uh, dependency graph evaluation that's going on. Here you really do have to say uh, exactly what steps you want to execute and what order. So it starts at this begin execute node. And the first thing we do is just set the root bone location. And it's very important to check on this propagate uh, to children. So what I'm going to actually just break this connection. So all our rig does now is take this root control transform and set the root bone transform while propagating that to all the children. So we'll compile that. We'll grab our root control, which you can see here in the rig hierarchy view. And I'm just going to kind of move that around. So you can see how that's moving the whole spider and we've created our very first sort of basic um, animation rig. Now if I connect that into our Power IK solver and to the rest of the rig, you can see now that uh, Power IK is taking over and starting to move those hips around and uh, all the feet. Okay. At any point while you're making a control rig, you can hit compile. It'll reset the state uh, to, the, to the starting point. Um, so that's really handy. It also dynamically recompiles if you have auto compile turned on, 
which allows you to kind of noodle around in the graph, connect and disconnect things. And I found that it's actually a very stable, very uh, efficient way to develop rigs. So um, let's just go through at a high level here and take a look at uh, the entirety of this rig, all of the features. And uh, at the very end there, we'll, we'll just kind of go through the setup process so you can see how to get started making these things on your own. Um, so what I've got here is a, uh, a thorax control that you can translate and rotate. Um, there's a, a control on the head that you can rotate. You can get in here and grab those fangs and rotate those individually. Um, there's a rotation control on the abdomen. And each foot has its own effector as well as uh, control for the entire rig. Okay, I'll compile to reset it. And let's go through the rig graph. So as we already saw, we're first setting the root. Then we go through and we get the transforms of all of these uh, foot controls. So these red and blue boxes that you see at the bottom here, these are our foot controls. And I'm using this get control transform node, specifying the name of the control, uh, getting that just the position and I'm pumping that into effectors on a power IK solver. With the solver set up to uh, have the character root set to the thorax and then uh, each of these uh, effector controls running through with the bone set to the tip bone. So these are the bones at the tip of all the legs. Um, so I believe I have here one effector for each foot. So this is just this is driving all of the, the foot positions and then letting Power IK kind of manage uh, the rest of the body. So if we actually just disconnect the rig at this point and play it, you'll see that what we're getting is the feet kind of pushing the whole body around. But you notice that that uh, thorax control is no longer following. So it was at a later stage in the execution where we actually run another Power IK solver uh, using the output of the first one to drive the control uh, so that this control actually you know, ends up where it belongs. And then from there, you can animate it in a sort of additive fashion. And that's what happens right here. So we're going to connect the execution up. Um, what we do here is get the thorax bone. So this is the transform of the thorax, that, that bone at the uh, body of the, of the spider, at the point at, right after the first Power IK is solved. So after Power IK has moved all the feed positions and updated the thorax position, you've got a brand new pose with the spider sort of leaning or, or reaching for its feed positions. Then we get that thorax position and move the thorax control, which is a separate uh, transform, based on the, the result of that first solver. Um, here I'm using the Verlay node, uh, which comes with the control rig, and, and that's what adds sort of some damping and bouncing um, on top of that thorax control. And then I'm setting another dummy transform called the thorax effector, and I'm setting that transform. So we're kind of taking the result of the first uh, solver, copying that onto a dummy, um, running it through a Verlay filter, and setting a final effector transform. And that transform then goes into the second Power IK solver here, which has just one more effector. So in the first one, we had uh, zero through seven. We had eight effectors, one for each foot. In this solver, we have zero through eight. So we have one for each foot, which is the same positions as the first solver. But this eighth and final one takes the thorax. So in that way, we're able to grab that control, which is moving the effector, and have control over the thorax in an additive fashion. Okay. And then once we're done with this solve, we'll have, uh, I can show you what that looks like. Um, we, we basically have uh, sort of the full body control. Um, since I've disconnected the, the rest of it, we're not going to have any control over the head or fangs or anything, but those are all relatively simple. So after, after the thorax is moved, then, then you know we would have the head control. That's why this isn't working. So we can connect that back up. We go through and we simply get uh, the transform of the head control, pump that into the head bone, same with the fangs. We're just taking those controls and putting those transforms directly into the bones. Um, and then finally, I have the, I'm doing the same thing on the abdomen. 
uh, take that control transform and pipe it into the bone, but I'm going again going through one of these Verlet nodes, and that's what gives you that extra layer of wiggle on the abdomen. So that abdomen is wiggling uh, relative to its parent, which itself is wiggling relative to the feet. So it's kind of a, a nice way of building up this layer where you know the feet are driving the thorax through a power IK solver, and then the thorax is driving the abdomen, and you get this really kind of lively dynamic secondary motion. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, get started setting something like this up. Thanks for watching.